Thank you very much, Alison, for agreeing to uh, talk to us about English Fab. Um, first of all, uh, could you tell us your full name? Yeah, it's Alison Leslie Geddes Hurst. The Geddes was a maiden name. Was it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you work, Alison? Uh, I work at English in Chester. How long have you been a teacher? I've been a teacher since I was 23, so I think that's probably about 35 or 36 years. So I'm, I'm 60 now. Lots of experience lot, there. Yes, Lots of experience. So which skill do your students need most support with? Well, it depends on the nationality, it depends on the level. Yeah. Obviously, it varies tremendously. Um, a lot of the ones with um, with different script need a lot of help with that. Also, that sort of influences the pronunciation because mm. they're making errors in the writing pronunciation. So, um, I think they need help with everything. Uh, often, the writing is overlooked yeah. to the detriment of other things, and yeah. obviously, receptive skills they have at a higher level than the productive skills. Um, the lower levels really need help with everything, and as we get higher, you need to focus on different things. Yes. And if they're living in the country, then listening and speaking have got to be the primary importance. Mm. If they want to go to university, pronunciation perhaps less so, depending mm. on what they're going to study. Yeah, so. absolutely. Every student's different then, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, each nationality has its own particular problems, mm -hmm. and so you need to focus on minimal pairs, various things, elision, liaison, assimilation, mm -hmm. um, and what they are thinking in their head, maybe they're visualising the words, mm -hmm. so it's blocking what's coming in or what's going out. Mm -hmm. So it's the difference between the flow of all the phonemes as they come mm -hmm. out and what they're reading, what they're writing. And also if they're living in the country or conversing with other people, mm -hmm. everyone's got their own idiosyncrasies. And if they're talking to native speakers, they like, you know, mm -hmm. and glottal stops all over the place, it could be well nigh impossible. Yeah. How does English file help you, do you think, with, um, with this skill? Well, I particularly like its little pictures and mm. the words. It, that is so helpful to students because a lot of them have only been presented with a standard chart which does not have the little picture of the bird or the egg in the egg cup. And for a lot of them, they go, oh, and it's a way in. It's a way in. Um, and I like the way it focuses on a particular sound in, in bite-sized chunks, really, yeah. so it's, it's extremely helpful in that way. I mean, all the books do it to a certain extent, but I like the way it has used its own special version of the phonemic yes. chart to help. Um, do you have a top teaching tip of your own for motivating students? I think the main thing, mm -hmm. top tip all the time, Always smile and always be patient and always be encouraging whatever happens and mm. however long it takes because as soon as any negative vibes come that's going to put people off. So I think optimism, encouragement <laughs> and smiling and patience, those are the keys. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your top tip for getting students to speak in the classroom? Because often it's quite difficult, isn't it? Well, some of the some of the shyer students, or perhaps not necessarily the less able, because the less able are sometimes the most vociferous, aren't they? And um, put them in pairs so they're not feeling vulnerable. I think that's the top tip. Try and try and make them feel in a in a caring, safe environment and also made them realise that you cannot learn if you don't make mistakes, you learn by making mistakes, mm. and every time we make a mistake we learn something, that's how we learn our mother tongue. You use English File as a course book, um, what was your most memorable or successful English File lesson? Oh, I don't know. I can't think of a specific one. There have been lots, mm. there have been lots. So I can't tell you that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've used it at different levels. Some of the advanced ones have been nice. Mm. We had a close Swiss group mm. earlier this year which we used advanced English file with. Mm. Um, I think there was one on jokes towards the end that they really enjoyed.
enjoyed. But really, all, all the lessons are, are very nice in themselves. I don't think there's one particular outstanding one. And with, with, the, with the lower levels, it just happened that some of them were going to London, you know, we just done the... It, it depends where you are and, and what's happening. But I don't think I've ever come across a dud one. Great. Well, that's, that's wonderful to hear. <laughs> Thanks very much.